Hello, friends. Welcome or welcome back to Shadow Play Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here today, friends. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Make yourselves at home. And if you are returning, well, friends, you know how I feel about you. I love you. Thank you so much for coming back and spending more of your precious time with me here on our little channel. Um, I am so excited to get into today's reading. But before we do, as always, friends, for anyone that is interested, I do offer private readings. And the only way to currently book a reading with me is through my website. The shop is up on the screen right now. So you can, um, yeah, you can visit that and you can see all the different readings that I offer, all the other services. Um, and if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me before you book. All right. So let's get into today's reading. Today, we're going to be checking in on your connection. We're going to see what you need to know. Um, this person that you're currently connected to. We'll see what's going on between you guys, what the energy is, and then we'll see what you need to know. And yeah, we'll try to get as much information for you as possible. As always, friends, we have three groups to choose from. We have group number one, group number two, and group number three. When you are ready, I'll meet you at your reading. Hello, my group number ones. If you picked the sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. Let's go ahead and put this right over here. And friends, I just have to remind you, this is a collective reading. Please only take what resonates, leave the rest for somebody else. And let's begin. Today, we're going to be looking into your connection, this person who's on your mind that you're connected to. What is it that you need to know? We're going to begin by checking in on the current energy between you two. That'll help you identify that this is indeed a group that has a message for you. And then we'll get to what it is that you need to know about this connection. Um, if you guys felt drawn to another group as well, maybe there's messages for you waiting there as well. I almost had a hard time getting that out. All right, let's begin. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number ones. Spirit, the person that my group number ones came to this reading for, what can you tell us about their current energy? What's going on between these two? The person that my group number ones came to this reading for, the person on their mind. What's the current energy between my group number ones and this person on their mind? Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius or you're an Aquarius. No surprises there. The Aquarians run, run thick in this group. There's a lot of you guys. All right. Thank you, Spirit. What can you tell me about this energy? We have the Three of Cups. Which way do you want to go? Upright. We have the five of pentacles. So you guys are either at a disconnect or just not spending enough time together. Someone might feel a little left out. All right. So already I'm getting the energy. This is like player energy, friends. This is someone who's like, it's fun when they're there. And then when they're not, it's like, they're really not. This person doesn't commit. Like maybe it's even rare for this person to follow through on plans. Um, it feels like they juggle where they have a lot going on, but then it's like never done. And it's interesting. I say never, you know, not never, not to ever use that word, but um, never means I kind of feel like you guys have repeated a cycle with this person once twice maybe thrice i don't know it was probably fun though but um i definitely don't feel like it moved into anything else other than that if it did um at this moment in time i'm, I'm not feeling that that's there so there's i feel like stuck stuck energy like we're not fully walking away from something but at the same time this is not moving forward and it's like um, someone here could be a fire sign, uh, an Aries Leo Sag, or have a placement where they're showing up like a fire sign. I have Leo coming in strong, Sagittarius as well. So I feel like this person, um, no offense, my group number ones, but I'm kind of getting the feeling that it was uh, kind of easy for you to overlook the red flags because it was so fun. This person is currently away from you. And it feels like one of you is missing the other. Maybe it's mutual because it feels like things aren't done here. 
but I do feel like communication is blocked. If you were to message this person, I'm not sure that they would answer. I don't think they would answer right away. That's for sure. And they're not making a mood. Um, oh, I said mood. <laughs> I meant move. Uh, there's a lot of lust in this group. Yeah, it just, okay, so if you want a good time, you know, every once in a while without consistency and this person made it worth your while, then that's cool. But if you're expecting um, this person to offer you commitment or show up regularly or be this committed partner, I'm just not seeing that, friends. At this moment in time, um, at least... This person is not done being for the streets or whatever it is that they're doing. Um, even if they're not like out there in the streets, it just feels like when it comes to this connection, this relationship, they're just not showing up. They have other stuff that they are giving their time to. We have the justice card, Libra energy. So it's like some of you know this already. So hopefully this reading is just serving as like um, validation to what you already feel. It feels like you're trying not to worry about it, but at the same time, it's there. It's lingering because nothing has moved. All right. So if that sounds like your situation, my lovely group number ones, let's continue. Let's see what it is that you need to know about this connection. There does seem to be like, I feel like fun. It's like fun times when you're together, but it's not consistent. At least not right now. All right. Thank you, Spirit. What do my group number ones need to know, please, about this connection? What do they need to know? You're undecided if this is done. Some of you could be wondering or not really wanting to bring an end to this or truly turn your back. But at the same time, it's kind of still lingering just because you don't want to decide. It's not like clearing it and it's not moving it forward either. What do they need to know, please, about this connection? Speak up. Speak up. Some of you need to let it be known what you want in a relationship, or some of you are going to have to, not have to, I don't mean to say have to. You're being. There is something here about speaking up about this relationship, this connection. You guys feel deeply for this person and you're not at an age and stage where you are here to waste your time. I do feel that for some of you, this person did give you indicators and maybe all of a sudden they're, um, they're showing up as not, or they're not showing up. Maybe that's the thing that they're not showing up. Um, I see, I see you guys speaking up, setting some boundaries. Maybe it's even sharing feelings, but you're not doing it in a way where you're just, I do anything for you. I love you. No, it's more like a look. This is how I view this or I feel, I see whatever it is, you know, and this is what I essentially want. And so then you kind of open, you know, open up that line of communication now, whether or not they're going to take you up on communicating with you, being up front, at least you yourself are kind of speaking up. And that's kind of step one, because you're just kind of like in limbo right now. And I feel like some of you feel really deeply connected to this person, or you're very serious about finding this type of connection that is going to lead to commitment. It is going to reach milestones for you. Um, the milestones that happen when we're connected with someone. We go from the talking stage to the, you know, your trust in each other is building and then commitment and then, you know, it progresses. You're, you're elevating this. Some of you, if you believe in the twin flame terminology, uh, might feel like this person is your twin. Beware of false twins, though, is what I feel inclined to say. Um, and that could, if some of you feel like this person is your twin flame, those could be some of the things in their behaviors that they might be doing are part of that. Um, the red flags are easy to ignore that I mentioned earlier. That's not going to be for everyone, but I am getting the essence of that energy in here. Okay. Um, yeah. Cause I feel like some of you 
haven't spoken up or are afraid to, and this is encouraging you not to be afraid because if this person can't handle it, they, if they really, they, it's like, if they can't handle hearing this or you communicating this, then they definitely can't handle giving you what it is that you need. Um, the, the bare minimum at, at least, which you deserve more than the bare minimum. Um, yeah. All right. So thank you, spirit. What do my group number ones need to know, please? about this connection. Some of you are afraid of confrontation or this type of, um, this type of communication. Maybe you're afraid it's going to lead to an argument and someone is getting blocked. Again, if this were to happen, this isn't a person that you need in your life. And even though that'll be disappointing. And for some of you, um, you know, you may even be, um, I'm not seeing heartbroken. I'm not, I'm just seeing you standing up for what's right and what's what, for what's right for not being a, a pushover or not being someone that's just always an option. You know, I do believe you guys do have a connection with this person, but don't let that blind you to how they're showing up and how they've been showing up. This is what you want. You want to, you want this love to work out or you want to expand here. You want to get to a better place with this person. Some of you feel like this is your person, but they are not, they're not investing in committing at this moment in time. And maybe that's something that, you know, is being encouraged to be addressed. It's hard for me to say, cause I don't know your guys' situation. This could be someone that you barely even talk to or that you, um, that you do have previous history with, um, extensive history. Um, okay, let's go over a couple of scenarios. If this is someone that you barely even talked to, but you feel very connected to them, this might be saying that you're going to be the one that speaks up first about, you know, maybe a, about like, hey, I don't know. How do people talk now? How do you let someone know that you're into them? I, I don't even know. Uh, maybe you're the one uh, um, speaking up first. Let's put it that way. But for those of you that already have a history and there has been a repetitive pattern with this person that I was picking up on earlier, um, like I said, it's it's time for you to kind of speak up what it is that you want. Um, don't don't just sit there and wait for this person to realize or grow out. It's like no, it's not happening. It's the energy is stuck. Um, all right, thank you, Hermit. Yeah. I definitely feel maybe you're being introspective as well as to what it is that you want, what kind of commitment you would want. It's like you don't want drama. This is also non-confrontational. Uh, setting your boundaries or speaking up isn't going to, it doesn't have to be confrontational. And there's an energy here of, okay, so first off, it's better to approach this from a clear mentality. Because if you come at it when you're upset or you're triggered, that's when you're going to say something or say it in a way that there is no, like, it, it almost like comes across, like there could be room for miscommunication. At the time that I'm putting out this reading, it is Mercury retrograde friends. So just keep that in mind. Um, there could be room for error, room for miscommunication, misinterpreting, if you decide to send a text, it could be taken a different way that you didn't mean. So just keep that in mind because there's almost like someone here pops off over this. I, you've been ignoring me or I feel left out or I miss you. I haven't seen you, but it comes off in a confrontational way. Um, so it does feel like there's an element of something unexpected that comes up. But I almost feel like that may happen depending on how you approach this. Like it, it might change the landscape of it. But I'm almost getting the, the energy that I'm getting or that I'm picking up on is saying, oh, I could have done that better. I could have said that in a better way. Or fuck, why didn't I say fill in the blank? So just keep that in mind because there is a little bit of a red flag there on your end over the communication. And we have two four of cups together. They're both in reverse. So it's like, we're bored. We're over this. We're tired of thinking about it. I'm ready to create some kind of action. 
Maybe you've been feeling rejected and you're over it and it's time to say something. And it's like, fuck it if it does come off as confrontational. Like, and it happens sometimes, friends. You're beautiful. You're passionate. <laughs> uh, she is the moment. <laughs> um, let's see what this blocked communication is about. Because I feel someone here is being very independent, very single. And that might be you breaking away from this. That might be you that ends up blocking this. You might say what you got to say. It, it's like someone shuts down here. Yeah, it, it might be this person. They're showing up as an emperor. I don't know if there's an age difference or um doesn't have to be. This person's just really in their ego. They're like, I have a job to do or I have, uh, I have important things going on. Um, they're not going anywhere. Let's be real. They're still going to be ling lingering in your energy. But this is just kind of encouraging you um, to speak up, my group number ones. So think about it. Don't be impulsive. Think it through. Think about what it is that you want to say. Because I feel like you guys do have something to say. You're like, hey, buddy. <laughs> I'm ready to feel better here. All right, let's pull some um, Oracle cards for you. Let's do these first. Then when I pull these, you guys will have a chance to ask a question and we'll see if we can get you an answer. All right, thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number ones, please. Messages for group number one. All right, we have, I love that the ghost card came out. So. The ghost um, is talking about things from the past, or some of you could feel like you were ghosted. Um, that energy was definitely there. We have cleanse. Cleansing is about making room for the new things. Maybe this is even a reminder. It's time to cleanse your home. Maybe it's time to do some spring cleaning, but also cleanse your energy as well. Um, move things around. You know why? Because this energy is feeling very stuck. And when energy is stuck, it gets stale. It's almost like for those of you that have altars or even like bookshelves, like you have little, you know, whatever your, your decor around your house, it's, it's like you don't wipe it down for a week or two and it's just, it's dusty. And eventually like your house feels it. And then when you dust, you're like, oh my gosh, it feels so much better. And that's what I'm getting with your energy. It's time to dust it off. Mystery. There's a lot here that you're being kept in the dark about when it comes with this person or to this person. So for those of you that feel that way, um, it's like uh, I just heard um, speak now or forever hold your peace. That sounds dramatic and not really, but it is time to speak now. We have creativity. Some of you could be very creative. Maybe you have a creative way of expressing yourself and that's something worth um, thinking about. Maybe some of you are writers or um, I don't know, maybe you even write poetry or um, I, I don't know, I'm getting writer for somebody, but um, only you know, I do feel you guys are a creative bunch. Then we have ghost. We already talked about that. Something from the past. Some of you guys could have been ghosted. If this person did ghost you, friends, take this reading as kind of, a, it's almost like just reminding you, like, don't overlook. Like I said, don't overlook the red flags that this person was giving off because you do feel a connection. We have love and illumination. This to me is about your self-love, turning that up. When you speak up for yourself and put up boundaries and speak up your needs and your wants and your desires, friends, that's how you're, you're going to be loving yourself um, through this. All right. So if you guys have a question, go ahead and start thinking about it as I shuffle. Pause the video if you need to. We'll see if we can get you an answer. You'll know it because you'll feel it. If not, just take it as more messages for your reading. Thank you, Spirit. Can we get some answers for my group number ones, please? Answers for my group number ones. Oh my gosh, that one says take it to the altar. Um, you guys, go dust your altar for the love of God. Get the incense um, ash off of there. Clean up the wax. Clean up the herbs, the oils. Clean up the dust. Move your crystals around. Um, that's definitely for somebody. When I saw cleanse, I thought of an, an of 
of an altar that needs to be cleaned. Um, so that's not for everyone, but that is for somebody. Whoever I'm speaking to is probably screaming right now. <laughs> Look at bitches. What have I been saying? Put up strong boundaries. That only makes you hotter, my group number ones. That's also part of that self-love. Then we have visualize your desire. I believe I was mentioning this earlier when you're being introspective and really thinking about what is it that you want out of commitment? What is, how do you want someone to show up? You know, the level of commitment that I may want may be different than what you want or what I consider um, committed might be different than what your expectations are. So it's just getting clear on what it is that you want. Um, all right, my group number ones, that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it was helpful. I'm wishing you nothing but the best and I'll catch you at the next one. Thanks guys. Hello, my group number twos. If you pick the sticker, then welcome to your reading friends. Let's go ahead and actually we're going to put that out of frame because it's a little bit bigger. Um, but yeah, today we're going to be looking into your connection with this person on your mind and seeing what the energy is between you guys right now. That'll help you identify that you indeed have a message for you waiting in this group. Um, yeah, and then we'll move into what is it that you need to know about this connection. If you guys were drawn to another group as well, feel free to watch it. There may be additional messages for you there. All right, let's begin. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number twos. My group number twos and the person that they came to this reading for, Spirit. What's the vibe between them and this person that they came to this reading for? What's the current energy? What's the current energy, please, between them and this person they came to this reading for? What's the energy between them? What's the energy between them, please, and this person on their mind that they came to this reading for? What's the energy? We have the Eight of Cups. All right. Someone's walking away from something. Someone did walk away. We have sadness. So someone could have left this connection or uh, maybe the timing wasn't right or something about it wasn't right. Someone feels like this is the only way for some reason. Wow, guys. Okay, my group number twos. Just take a deep breath with me, okay? That's going to be okay. Let's see why this is the way it is right now. I mean, you guys know, but let's see what messages we can get you. I'm feeling stressed out with you. You guys feel like there's an ending or someone maybe had to leave. Um, maybe they had, um, let's say it's the energy of someone that got a job offer somewhere far away. Or there's just a reason. Maybe they had to relocate. Wow, this is tough, you guys. I don't like seeing this many swords. We have 19 swords with that nine and that 10. And then we have 20 swords because that one's just out there. Why the eight of cups? Why the five of cups? All right, so someone here, like I, I, this isn't a group that you guys are together. This is a group that you guys had some kind of painful ending or something happened between you guys. And the only right, like this is the right thing to do, um, not being together, at least for this time being, or someone is doing what they feel is the right thing to do. Um, there could be a marriage already in place. That's not for everyone, but I am seeing some indicators of that. Um, if not, it has something to do with the home and it's almost like, it's like, I have to is what I'm, what I heard. Um, why the justice card, please? We have Libra energy. Yeah, the nine of swords. Yeah, something here can't take off. And it's like someone either um, there is an ultimatum or there is there's something that someone just said, no, it, this is it. This is the end or this cycle is done. And there's just so much uncertainty and so much stress. You guys may work with this person or there's something about work or there's a third party situation, whether that's a person or um, another thing. Um, like I said, it could even be relocation vibes for some of you. 
where it's like that other thing came in the way of your guys' connection. I do feel there's an outside factor. You guys will know what it is um, to your situation. If this is resonating, then stick here with me because this is pretty um, specific in that way. I don't feel like there was, there's an issue of ghosting. I feel like there was something that was said, there is like clear communication, or if, even if it's not clear communication, there's a reason why this happened. So um, if that sounds like your story, friends, I know that there's a lot of stress. I know there's a lot on your heart and in your mind. Um, and we're going to see what information we can get for you that can maybe help you through this. Some of you did speak up. Like I said, maybe it was ultimatum vibes. Um, and I do feel that there's a wanting or to come back together, but it's almost like to work on something, or maybe that's you voicing it. Like if we come back or if I come back to you or we get, or I entertain that, whatever it is, whatever level you're at. It's almost like this is what I need. Um, for, like I said, for some of you, this could be a, another situation that's already um, established. What else, please? V feeling very stuck. There's like emotional highs and lows here. So this person, they do have love in their heart and they do care. But here's the thing, there's something that doesn't make them available. They can't give you the attention or this the attention, and they do go back and forth on that. This is someone here feels trapped in their current circumstances, and they're very wounded, and they can't take up this opportunity. It's like something here just cannot. Um, they're focusing on their work right now. I don't think this person is free. It's either their job position or their their home that's preventing this. And they do think about this a lot. They do have feelings for you, but they feel stuck in their current situation. Um, and maybe that's a little infuriating to hear because it's already what you know. But I, I, there's something possessive about this person too, where it's like maybe even if you did speak up and you were like, look, I, I'm walking away from this because it just can't be. Um, I don't think that they would fully release you or release your energy. And I know that sounds kind of like messed up, but you know what I mean, my group number twos. This person might still kind of lurk around, keep tabs on you or find ways to kind of, you know, keep you ling or linger in your energy and vice versa. Too many swords, too many swords in this reading. We have 20, we have 28. And that's the first time that I count the swords like that, but it's true because swords are very heavy on the mind. They keep us up at night if there's too many of them. 29 with that queen of swords holding hers up. Something here, someone just can't commit and it can't take off. We have lots of signs showing up. Um, all right. Well, that was pretty specific. Let's see what you need to know. What do you need to know? Please spare what for my group number twos. What do they need to know about this connection, please? What do they need to know? What is that? The Ten of Cups. There could be a family involved or a shared community. Someone could be a parent. Thank you, Spirit. What do my group number twos need to know, please? What do my group number twos need to know, please? Chill out, my friends. Don't make any rash decisions. Like, if you've already decided to walk away, just chill, do your thing, keep a distance, take a break. Because some of you are really um, thinking about this or, or trying to make a decision or there's a decision you don't want to make. And it's like there is a feeling here of you do have fun with this person, but it's time to view this connection differently um, for what it is. And when you do, you're going to realize that you're healing. When you allow your perspective to change on this, meaning don't hold on to just the good parts or this person's like, 
the good times with them or, or the attraction that you have for them. There's something deeper here. And in order for you to see that, it's going to be a little bit of time. It's going to be um, after a period of time that you've just been going with it and um, kind of reflecting and sitting in this energy. I do feel you guys are going to be healing. We have the King of Swords showing up. Why the Two of Swords, please? Yeah, some of you aren't sure if you want to move on or something about uh, not wanting to move forward or wanting to return to this. That could be the other thing as well. They're really advising you to just take a break from this. Don't fight so hard for this. Don't, don't let this be so consuming because it's going to make you um, sick. Whether that's your emotions are low, your vibration starts to lower. Your aura starts to weaken. Um, you start to um, get physical ailments. Sometimes we feel like we're catching a cold or we're just so tired all the time. And we don't know why. And it's because our beautiful aura has like been dimmed, right? Because sometimes we give too much mental energy and capacity to things that aren't um, feeding us. And they're not, they're not um, giving us the same in return or in healthy ways. There is something, I don't know what is going on here with this two of pentacles and this three of cups. It's almost like we're back and forth on coming back together or someone here is like juggling different groups of people. I'm, I'm not sure. Someone here is in and out energy back and forth. And then we have another three. So maybe there's other people involved or um, did we already talk about that? Once I start channeling, I forget what I said two seconds before. Why the hangman in reverse? Yeah, it's like there's a family involved or there's a really long commitment that someone had or someone's been investing into something for a really long time. And it's almost like you either haven't realized this or your view on commitment and family, there's something about it that I don't think this situation fits that picture or... It's like we can't get there, but there's something about how you're viewing it that's going to be changing. When you let this go and when you let the, some of this wounding that's happened, when you just like release it, you're going to like free yourself. That's when you're going to truly heal. There's, there's something here that the only way to heal it is by you chilling out my group number twos by this king of swords. Someone here is very manipulative and it's interesting. Okay, I'm not going to say very manipulative, but let's say that they use their silence to their advantage. Um, they could give the silent treatment or they could um, technically not lie, but leave out details that would have been really awesome to know. Um, there's something about the way they communicate. They don't give full information and they do it in a way so that they can still get their way or they can have their um, desired outcome. A very long-winded way of saying manipulation. So yeah, let's stick with manipulative, okay? Especially when it comes to relationships or this connection in particular. Um, if they are already involved and you know it, friends, they manipulate that situation as well. And it may not be as awful or it may not be as... It just may not be whatever it says that it is. Okay. This person, um, this, this person is, is, uh, in it for their own benefit. They like to fuck around and find out. They don't like to worry about certain things. And it's almost like they blow off steam from all their responsibilities with, um, fun, with having fun. I was going to say with fun encounters because it's like F-boy energy. There is a family. Or there's something. There, there's something else. For a lot of you, I feel like it is a family. And that does feel, I hate to say this. I, I, I don't like to say it because divorce and, and breaking or families being apart, it's awful. It's not good. Um even if it's a person that you want, it's not a good situation. 
but I do feel that something is going to crumble on their end with time, but it can have, it, it shouldn't have anything to do with you. Um, if that's the case, even if it's not like a marriage or an existing situation like that, uh, say it's a business or something, something that's crumbling, that's going to eventually lead to that because it's just not, it's not in alignment or there, you know, whatever, we're not looking into that, but it just feels like something is going to drastically change for them. And it's not necessarily involving you. Um, especially if it's another relationship, it, it, um, you kind of need to kind of stay out of it. You, you, the best advice is to let this person deal with their stuff. And if in the future you guys come back together, then, and the timing is better, then that's cool. Cause I do feel that some of you will have that comeback around, but you need to let time do its thing. Um, yeah, don't be the little dink that pokes the first domino and then it just goes. This person's life is their own domino to knock over. Not saying you guys would purposely do that, but sometimes when we really want something, we'd be doing dumb stuff, guys. Um, listen, I do feel like you guys were meant to meet this person for whatever reason but the timing would have to be right or else you'd be entering a very toxic environment and a toxic situation. Something has to be on different terms in order for this to be right for you guys, in order for this to move forward. The best thing you can do is start loving yourself, taking care of yourself, thinking about your future and what you want. Um, and then you're, you're going to be in alignment for that. What's for you isn't going to pass you by, even if it is this person, friends. I do feel you are going to have a new beginning. You are going to have the opportunity, but it is going to require you to work through some of these things and give this a break. <sighs> All right. Don't hate me. I love you guys. Um, but I do not sugarcoat the readings. Oh, shit. As I drop everything. That reading got me real, um, ugh, the energy guys, the energies. All right. Let me pick these up. All right, friends. I had to go dig in for those under the desk. All right. Let's get you guys some more messages. Thank you, spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. Messages for my group number twos. About this connection. Yes, caution. You guys need to protect yourselves. Um, there's passion. There's a lot of passion in this connection. But um, there's just little yellow. We're going to call them yellow signs all over. Follow your intuition here. You guys are really intuitive. Follow your intuition. Focus on making yourselves happy. I know you guys can. There's certain things that um, you can probably be doing a little bit more of to kind of value yourself, pamper yourself, take care of yourself, love yourself in a way that you want a partner to love you. Um, you know, we don't need anyone to date us. Like we can date ourselves type of vibes, you know? And I feel like that when it comes to this connect, this specific connection, that's kind of one of the best things right now that you could probably do is um have your self-worth your boundaries love yourself first look at this caution pain and protection if you even feel rejected by this situation it's like that's protecting you you know there is something that is meant for you guys even if it's not this person there is something way awesome that that is meant for you guys and i did see that you will have a new beginning but it does require you to deal with this first. And for a lot of you, that means kind of leaving it alone, taking a break from it, not your circus, not your monkeys type of vibes. Bottom of the deck, we have definitely not. Keep in mind, I just did drop this. 
All right, friends, if you have a question, you can go ahead and start thinking about it as I shuffle and we'll try to get you an answer. You'll know it's an answer because you'll feel it. If not, just take it as more messages for your reading. All right, thank you, Spirit. Can we get my group number two some answers, please? Answers for my group number twos. Three cards, please. Man, I've been like butterfingers with these today. It's a hard no on this. You also had that no at the beginning. Cut through to find clarity. Some of you um, haven't really seen this yet. That time, that break is going to allow you to see something different. And we have be clear with your wishes. What is it that you do want out of this person or out of this situation? Um, and not like, let's be realistic with that. Not in a fantasy way, a fantasy way being that they show up as a completely different person that they're not reality would be, well, eventually, um, I want them to be available so that we can have a clear shot. You know, it's just like getting clear on that. My friends, that'll help you kind of get clarity on this and get a better grasp on what's best for you to do. Follow your intuition. Even if your intuition says something different than what I'm saying here, this reading is just meant to be helpful and hopefully guide you. But at the end of the day, we all have free will. All right, my group number twos, I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you for joining me and I'll catch you at the next one. Thanks guys. Hello, my group number threes. If you pick the sticker, then welcome to your reading friends. Let's go ahead and put this right out of frame and let's get to it. Today, we're gonna be looking into this connection between you and the person on your mind. Um, we're going to begin by checking in on your current energy and see what's going on. That'll help you identify that there are indeed messages waiting for you in this group. And then we'll move into what it is you need to know about this connection. Please keep in mind, this is a collective reading. Only take what resonates, leave the rest for somebody else. If you felt drawn to another group, um, may I suggest you watch that as well. There might be messages waiting for you um, there too as well yeah you know what i mean all right let's begin <laughs> thank you spirit for allowing me to channel these messages for my group number threes my group number threes and the person they came to this waiting for a spirit what's the current energy between them and this person please what's the current energy between my group number threes and the person they came to this reading for What's the energy between them? Oh, guys, I don't know why I have like butterflies in my stomach all of a sudden. What's going on? Queen of Pentacles. You guys are focused on home, your business, your family, your, your shit. You know, you got it on lock. Very healing energy. Very attractive as well. My group number three is What's the energy between them. We have the Knight of Wands in reverse and the Ace of Swords in reverse. We have the Eight of Cups. All right, so there's been kind of a lack of clarity here, or maybe there's just someone's come, coming off as kind of stubborn. Maybe it's because of the priorities that they have. They don't really show up consistently, but at the same time, they're still looming around. It's like they haven't walked away. The situation has required your patience. We have Sagittarius energy as well. What's the energy? We have the three of cups in reverse. So maybe it's your patience because you guys don't see each other very often or consistently. There they are. You got your stuff together. They don't. <laughs> Let's see. They seem unavailable. Oh, no, I'm not trying to turn the hoe into a housewife, friends. Is that what some of you guys are doing? Or the Ace of Swords in reverse. Or the Eight of Cups in reverse. Ah, someone's like, I still want to work on this. We work well together. But it doesn't feel, it does feel like there's healing that has happened with this situation, or that's just you being patient. But someone here is undecided over coming back together or what they want to do. Um, someone's heavily manifesting this, but they're like manifesting based off of something that hasn't even been able to happen or take off. It's like someone just doesn't show up or they're just definitely not consistent. Um, and there's almost like a stubborn streak of, no, I'm not hurt. I'm, I'm actually, I'm okay. I, I accept it. It's fine. And you're still wanting to work on this. 
And I feel like you are learning a lot about yourself during this process. Like there has been a lot of self-work and healing, but there's also something here that you're not wanting to see or haven't seen yet, I should say. Um, I do feel like you are seeing through illusions. I just don't like that. It's that ace of swords in reverse. Maybe you feel like this person has lied to you and you just like, you're fine with it because you see right through them. Very interesting energies here. I'm going to keep pulling. Why this emperor in reverse, please, with this queen of pentacles? What can you tell me? Why this emperor in reverse? This person juggles or they're, they're very in and out energy. They don't know what they want, guys. This person likes options or they have a lot of things going on, a lot of projects, things that just keep them kind of in their head. I'm almost getting a feeling that they're the ones that are stubborn. Someone could have been, is dealing with a painful ending and they don't want to think about it. And that could be slowing things down where someone doesn't want to process something. It could be them. It doesn't have to be you. Why the magician with the knight of wands, please? Yeah. It's like this person is not available. They're letting go something or they're way over their head or like out of their comfort zone. It's almost like they don't feel grounded or they don't have grounding. And you're very grounded compared to their energy. Why the ace of swords in reverse? They could have been wounded or there's something going on that makes them not available. They'd rather be single. But at the same time, like, I don't know, there's something here someone hasn't walked away from. There could be kids involved. Besides that, it feels like you have a lot of good memories with them or you guys have like a soft spot for them and you're really understanding over their situation. If not that, there's something that they haven't been able to walk away from and maybe that's the situation that there's like kids involved. Yeah, or all of the above could be true. Who knows? Why the moon in reverse happens, please. So it feels like you guys may have had a new beginning. Um, maybe it was even like a hookup. A passionate new beginning, if you will, with this Ace of Wands. But with the Hierophant in reverse, it's like uh, something isn't uh, traditional. It, it, it's not how you expected it to be, or there's just no commitment, maybe all of the above as well. But it's like you're remaining patient. You're coming off as being really understanding. This person might even be confused over how they... Okay, let's backtrack. Too much trying to come out at the same time. Let's say that this person was in a previous situation that they're currently uh, walking away from or trying to detach from, or it, maybe they're not. Maybe, maybe that's why they're just unavailable. This person is really confused over their connection with you or how they feel about you, what they want, who, who they are. Like, I mean, this person, it's almost like an identity crisis. Um, depending on this person's age and stage in life, um, they could have had a real set idea in their head over who they are going to be with, what that was going to look like on the outside, what they were going to provide, their money situation, their career, whatever it is. Um, and it's almost like a battle of the egos. Uh, this person, it feels like a fish out of water when it comes to your energy. It's really uncomfortable for them at times, but at the same time, there's something about it that kind of keeps drawing them back in. Um, if you guys believe in past lives and soulmates, this is soulmate energy. It's like you guys have known each other from another space and time. Um, and that could be why when you connected on the earth plane here in this lifetime, um, you guys probably worked very well together. Maybe you guys even knew each other through work. Um, and maybe you guys have some fun times there. Um, there could have been um, connection in some way, talking, flirting, or reminding each other of, you know, uh, relationships from your adolescence, or there's like a certain sweetness, some type of like naive energy that's really nice. 
it's almost like the cool water in the middle of all this other um, mess. Now, it's a mess on their side. You feel like you're pretty grounded. You may have been previously disappointed with things that happened here, but overall, you're pretty independent and you're just kind of doing your own thing. Um, they keep saying someone had a, pain, a painful ending or there was a painful ending that happened. Why the Three of Cups with the Two of Swords? Man, it's like someone wants to come back together because it does make them happy. But at the same time, they're showing up as the King of Wands in reverse. It's like F-boy energy or not wanting to commit or the ego kind of dictating. So this person doesn't know what they want, guys. They don't. Um, they might breadcrumb you or you guys... I don't know, give you a little bit here, a little bit there, but they haven't decided what it is that they want. I don't think they're in a place to be deciding. This person needs to chill. Um, send this person to my channel. <laughs> um, all right, let's see. Friends, if this sounds like your situation, I hope it makes sense. Um, sometimes they don't make sense to me, but if they make sense to you, all right, then hang in there with me. Let's see what you need to know about this connection. Thank you, spirit. What do my group number threes need to know about this connection with the person on their mind, please? What do my group number threes need to know about this connection with the person on their mind, please? I keep get, getting that six of cups at the bottom of the deck. What do they need to know, please? If you guys are in disconnect, I do feel like you guys miss each other. We have the three of pentacles. We have the fool in reverse. There's this job or a family dynamic. There's something that's preventing this from taking off or it makes this person hard to trust. We're going to take that upright. Um, for those of you that do feel a deep connection with this person, which I think that you, for the most part, do. Um, it just feels like it, it, there's a hard time trusting. Um, there's also oh, like uh, an energy where this relationship between you guys or this connection, it has the possibility to just change a lot around them. <sighs> there's feelings here that something isn't reciprocated or someone may not feel the same. Um, I'm, this Ten of Pentacles, it, there could be a, a family dynamic or it's like, I'm getting lots of messages. Some of you switch the roles if you need to, but some of you may feel like this is your person that you want to build a life with, that you see long-term with. But there is like a big tower event, like something here is going to change everything. And I don't think this person is there at this moment in time. I'm not saying it'll never happen. I'm just saying there's a sense of seriousness um, that's tied into your connection. It, it's like, even if we wanted it to be casual, like it, essentially it wouldn't be casual. Why the three of pentacles, please? Why the fool? Okay, so this person is so much in their ego. They're showing up to the things that they're showing up for because that's them keeping control. They don't like to be out of control and they kind of feel like maybe this connection with you is not within their control. Uh, why? Because they're confused by it. I do feel there is forward movement here, but this person's got a lot to work through. You're dealing with someone who um, it's very difficult for them to change their course or their mind once they're there, once they're on that track. Um, it's giving, it's giving fixed sign vibes, um, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. Um, there is Aries here as well, but this person has a hard time trusting. Um, they like, they, they like to show up as being the strong one, the provider, the, you know, there's just a sense of control that they like to have. So you guys could have had, or will have an unexpected break or there is a break that's coming that's meant to change everything. Um, it's going to help remove a block or feeling stuck over 
if you felt like you were over giving to this, this break is going to like reset that. So even if you um, are disappointed by this pause in this connection, it's actually going to help course correct. <laughs> I'm being so technical, course correct. <laughs> mayday, mayday. Um, we need assistance here on group three. Why the Ten of Pentacles, please? We have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Why the Queen of Pentacles in reverse? It's like there's a there's that passion again, and there's that healing. Okay, that's what's going to... I feel like this person's going to take you more seriously after you disappear. I hate to say that, and I'm not saying it in a manipulative way. I'm just saying if you need to take a break from this, um, don't be afraid that that's going to end this forever or whatever. If anything, it's going to change some type of trajectory that'll create some kind of movement. Um, it's almost like someone here shows up differently or wanting to heal this, like your needs haven't been met even with the, maybe it's been the lack of consistency. Uh, maybe it's even a conversation that you end up having. You say what you have to say about how you feel in this situation about this connection. And then you're like, you know what? Um, I'm just going to let you deal with your mess. I'll, I'll see you later. Please don't contact me. Or maybe you guys are already on a break. It just feels like um, there is going to be a pause. And if you guys have recently gone through this pause, I do feel that you guys, um, maybe that's the stress, the painful ending, but I don't see it being over. I see this person being like, wait a minute, my group number threes, are you kidding me? You were the one that I was always thinking of. That's why I've been so damn confused this whole time. What do you mean that you're, you're going away? And give it three months, friends, three months and they're back. Oh yeah, they'll be back. They'll be back so much more, um, <laughs> so much more truthful. Oh, I'm laughing, but it's true. This person needs a time out. Imagine, um, you know, a kindergartner getting sent to the corner. Um, and I'm so sorry to say that about your person, but it kind of is. You're like, you're the one that's going to be like, you know what? You're on a timeout. And even if on the inside, you're super uncomfortable, my group number three is even if you're crying, screaming, thinking it's over, um, it's not, they're going to be back. Now, um, give it, I said three months, but for some of you, it might be three weeks from whenever you listen to this. If you guys are already on a break, I would say it's going to be about three months, give or take. They'll be back. Expect to have like makeup sex if you guys are already, <laughs> if you guys have already gone there. All right, we have uh, more Aquarius showing up, Leo, Aries, Sag. Man, it's hard for this person to open up. They're going to pop in with a nice little gesture that's going to make you real happy. So if anything, um, try to use this time as just working on yourself, doing your thing. We have Scorpio energy showing up as well. I think I already said that. Yeah, do your thing, my group number threes. Focus on yourself. Have fun. Um, set up your boundaries so that when this person does return, you're not just like melting in their hands, even though I'm sure you will. But um, yeah, they'll re it's almost like they'll, they'll gain clarity and maybe even like respect you or the situation more to kind of realize. Now, how they behave after that, we didn't look into that, but we do know that they'll be back, okay? All right, um, let's get some more messages. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes, please. Messages from my group number threes. Love. Some of them are going to come back with the realization that they see you in their life for the long term. And um, they wouldn't have realized that if they didn't know what it was like to be ghosted by you or just kind of left out in the cold. So dramatic reflection is definitely needed. But if you notice, we have love first. Someone here um, has a hard time realizing when they have, when it's love or when they have emotions. You guys have a lot of passion here. I am getting that there's like makeup sex that's going to be happening. If so, congratulations to you. We have fear and protection. Someone here is very fearful over love and relationships. It could be both of you as well. 
um, protect yourself, your energy. Um, yeah. Also, I, I'm getting, um, I just felt this connection is protected. Um, all right. Oh, I forgot to even mention, I'm sitting here shuffling because I'm kind of zoning out into your reading. Um, my group number three is if you guys have a question on your mind, you can go ahead and start thinking of that question and we'll try to get an answer. You'll know it's an answer because you'll feel it. If not, just take it as more messages for your reading. Thank you, Spirit. Can we get some answers for my group number threes, please? Three cards. Wow, this connection is really cool. I mean, it's a little annoying, yeah, but it's not like if this ends up being your forever person, this is definitely not a fairy tale. This is definitely not a rom-com. This is more of a dark comedy, perhaps. <laughs> or what is that? A dramedy, perhaps? We have realize it's already yours. Um, beyond a doubt, that's another yes. And then we have continue manifesting this. You guys, this connection, it is protected, okay? Um, this person is just needs to get their shit together, to be honest. Um, they seem to be master of their own little universe, not realizing that not everyone, it's not a dictatorship. <laughs> like the life isn't a dictatorship, you know, and this person definitely likes to keep control of themselves, their emotions, their environment to some degree. Um, I'm not saying it's toxic, but I am saying this person is very comfortable um, being in their position. And when I think they have discomfort around emotions. Um, all right, we'll leave it at that. You know, this person way better than I do. All right, my group number threes, that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for joining me and I'll catch you at the next one. Thanks guys.